Foot six resistance to an armed volunteer organization to reduce crime in the French Quarter is growing. The founder of the group told WDSU last week he believes more protection is needed in the quarter for those who live and work there. WDSU reporter Andy Cunningham is live in the studio with why some say this concept is simply too risky. Andy? Most of the concern Camille surrounds the group's plan to carry those concealed handguns. Their way of thwarting off crime in the quarter, and whether you agree or disagree with the concept, it's certainly ignited a heated debate. Aaron Jordan founded French Quarter Minutemen. The group already has 500 followers on its Facebook page, claiming to be an armed volunteer organization aimed at reducing crime in the French Quarter by providing escorts to service sector workers. The point is not to be a vigilante group. But the point is, is to not make more uh, potential victims out there for criminals. Last week, Jordan told us what he saw as a spike in crime in the quarter led him to form the group. Members are concealed handgun carriers, but he claimed using their licensed firearms would be a last resort. It always bothers me, Andy, when everybody comes armed. SUNO criminologist Dr. John Penny said he's leery of private citizens taking up arms in the French Quarter. And even though the intent may well be good, uh, the outcome could be really tragic. And for those who call the quarter home, reaction to this group is mixed. But if firearms weren't part of the equation, that support would be a lot higher. Absolutely. I understand where they're coming from. I, I, I feel. Uh, their, their protection is needed. A French Quarter resident for four decades, Doc Holly, welcomes anyone who wants to make it safer, but said doing so while carrying guns may present a new danger. Um, I have definitely mixed emotions about it, but we do need we do need either more police or somebody. Robert Romancic lives and works in the quarter. He also agrees more police protection is needed. Not enough is being done to secure this area. Uh, there's no police presence at all. Like his neighbor, though, he worries more guns could spell more problems. In 2007, a similar and also controversial group of crime-fighting volunteers known as the Guardian Angels patrolled the streets of the French Quarter to ward off crime, but did so without deadly weapons. The whole point of the group is to stop minor things before they, they get major. Jordan maintains their right to carry arms is to serve as a deterrent for crime, but by no means will they take the place of trained police officers. So the debate continues, and whether the New Orleans Police Department backs this concept of the French Quarter Minutemen remains to be seen. It's a question we asked last week but didn't receive an answer to, but that could change as early as tomorrow when Aaron Jordan meets with the NOPD about this matter. Camille? All right, Andy, keep us posted on that. And the founder of the French Quarter Minutemen said a number of people who work in the quarter service industry have reached out to him, concerned for their safety, and welcomed the option to be escorted home.